Where am I? Oh, right. This must be Emma's hometown. Oh, she fell asleep oh, by him. Guess I've kept her pretty worried all this time. She must have fallen asleep watching over me. Instructor Rain? Oh, morning, everyone. Sorry, looks like I overslept a bit. And we have so much to talk about, too. I was almost afraid you'd never wake up! You guys... She's not the only one. We've all been ill at ease. Even after we managed to escape. The moment we made it to Aaron, you were out for nearly an entire day. We've all been taking turns waiting ever faithfully by your bedside. Old and new Class 7 alike. And I, for one, relish the opportunity to gaze longingly at your sweet sleeping face. Like a vision into my future. Oh, Lord. Really, Muse? I mean, really? <laughs> <laughs> Floozy's gonna flooz. Anyway, stop coddling him already. The guy's a grown-ass man. So you say, but you were just as eager as the rest of us to stand watch. Oh, yeah. I thought for sure you'd just ditch, going on and on about how much you don't care. Oh, it was just so sweet. He sat right by your side, the very picture of concern. Like hell I did! Quit making shit up, you damn snitches! <laughs> <laughs> it's good to have you back with us, Ash. I wasn't sure if you were okay, let alone if I'd ever see you again. Class 7 just wouldn't be the same without you. Well, what can I say? Shit happens. Besides, I wasn't the one chained up in a workshop. Compared to you, I've had it easy. <laughs> I suppose so. And Muse, I know this puts you in a difficult spot. But either way, thank you for coming back. You still have your own moves to play. I understand that. But for now, I'm glad you've decided to be here with us. As am I. Though frankly, even I'm not quite sure how it happened. I suppose I have no choice but to stay right at your side until I find out. Glad to hear it. Ugh, there she goes again. <laughs> but it wouldn't be the same without her. Uh, As for you two... Excuse me, Reen just kind of rolls with it now. Kurt, it seems you spared no effort coming to my aid. I can't thank you enough for that. <laughs> oh. Instructor. <clears throat> Well, I mean, we kinda owed you, you know? You've come to our rescue plenty of times. It's only right we return the favor. If there's one thing you've taught us, it's to think and act for ourselves. Having the opportunity to put those lessons into practice was an experience unlike any other. But even then, we owed the bulk of our success to the old Class 7, and everyone else who had our backs. Still, thank you all the same. <sighs> Allie? <laughs> Rise and shine, sleepy bunny. Why is everyone here? Oh. Good morning, Altina. I can only imagine all the struggles and doubts you must have gone through. But you never stopped moving forward with everyone else. I'm proud of you. It's good to be back. Instructor Reen! Okay, and now her hair changed I, back to silver. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Seems we're all forgetting the most important part. Maybe it's a little unfair of us to steal the first chance, but nevertheless, shall we? Welcome back, Instructor Reen!
And that's where they parked airships as well as the Divine Knights. So where did frickin' what's-his-face, uh, shit. Crow end up with Ordeen. Yeah, last time Crow as well as Duvali came to our rescue. And Selene's back to her cat form. Okay. Oh. Well, that sure suits you. The others from my village helped prepare it for you. That old coat of yours was practically shredded. This new one even has enchantments woven into it that will help you keep your flow of mana under control. Grandmother, Vita, and Selene all helped out on it. It won't sort everything out on its own, but you might as well keep it on. I'm not sure if the design will suit your tastes, but don't take look a gift horse in the mouth and all. Seriously, it's great. I really appreciate all the work you must have put into it. I doubt I can ever thank you all enough. You are most welcome. That's really going to take some getting used to, but I think it'll work. Yeah, and it goes better with your new hair color. Looks like it. The white one has was cute, but this has a charm all its own. I like the black better too. It's a little too much for my taste. You can pull it off though, Reem. Yes, it isn't so much the clothes, but how you wear them. This ain't a fashion show, but you don't look half bad. All jokes aside, it really does suit you. Looks like it's pretty durable too. It should serve you well. It's perfect for setting out on a new journey. Yeah, maybe you're right. I think I like it too. Thanks again, everybody. I hate to be a downer on things, but there's something we need to be clear about. There's no cure for the curse that's affecting me. I'll stay the sacrifice until the great twilight ends. I guess it's my destiny. All this was decided for me when I was little. It seems like that power is also directly tied to his emotional state. Instructor. Damn it. But that doesn't mean you're gonna give up, does it? Of course not. I'm the one who started all of this, so I have to see it through. I'll keep moving forward and do what I believe is right until the bitter end. This curse, my becoming an awakener, the rivalries. It may be overwhelming, but I want to see how it plays out. I guess we need to look into what Crow told us. Speaking of which, where is he? Welcome back, one and all, Trails of Cold Steel 4. I am the Dark Seraph. Last time, we got Reen back in the party. Like I said before, Duvali and Crow came to the rescue. I mean, Duvali coming to the rescue is the real shock here. Crow makes sense. We're officially off radar. That was crazy. I was about to have a heart attack. Well done, both of you. Let's find somewhere to land. Actually, I think this is where we part ways. Crow? You mean you're not coming with us? Nah. It just doesn't feel right, you know. Besides, with the robbery starting, this is no time to be making friends. You mean... You're talking about the fate that awaits all Awakeners. And Duvali is accompanying him. I was never trying to make friends in the first place. Come on, it's high time we left. Really is a shame. You're both so cruel. I wouldn't have minded welcoming you into our ranks for a while. Dubly in particular would be well worth training myself. She does seem like the type to respond to a little tough love. How about letting us pick up 
where Arian Road and Leon left off. You two are far too unpredictable for that. And Vita, you're not even a swordsman. Let me just ask you something. Crow, how much do you know about these rivalries? Probably about as much as you. You feel it too, right? The knowledge that our destiny's coming in hot. And where it's all gonna go down. These shrines popping up everywhere. You mean... So it's true after all. Well, if you change your mind, you know where to find me. Don't forget, I was the one that led you to becoming an Awakener. I'd be more than willing to stay by you until you're ready to go. Tempting offer, but I'll have to decline. I've went on with you, I'd be giving up my life in a very different way. Well, that's a shame, but it was nice seeing you again, Crow. Right back at you. Do you think you guys could not flirt right on top of me like this? Are you jealous? Well, if you want to know about the rivalry, you should head over to the Spirit Shrine. The place where I had a near miss with you when I was Sieg. I'm thinking of checking it out myself. So, Crow is going to be aiding us in a very different way. I know he's not an enemy in this game. He just doesn't seem to be a direct ally. The Mysterious Shrines. Yeah, we've already gone through a couple of these. The Youngs previously used them for refining the Zumerian Ore. During the Civil War, several of them were spotted in the eastern regions of the Empire. There was even one by Lagram. Our clan assisted them until 900 years ago. So I've heard it was before my time, so I don't know as much as I would like. One of the duties of wandering witches has been to monitor the shrines for our irregularities. They serve as more than a simple refinery for their Zumerian ore. There have been reports of strange lights and other phenomena in the surrounding areas too. Are we any closer to finding that place Crow was talking about? It was supposed to be one of the places you guys ran into him when he was the Azure, si Azure Siegfried. That would narrow things down. It must be where we went on our field exercises in La Mer. We're going back to La Mer again. Right, can't think of anywhere else. That was back when you were searching for Milium. Yeah. Brionia Island, off the coast of Ordis. The Soul Shrine there could hold the answers we're looking for. Crow's probably investigating it as we speak. I want to get there and find out what he knows as soon as possible. As for you guys, you're not about to tell us to stay behind. Reen, you wouldn't be that stubborn, would you? You always tend tended towards self-sacrifice, but there are limits to how much you can do on your own. We won't allow you to go through this all alone. You'll just end up making the same mistakes again if we're not there to keep you in line. Hey, I'm well aware how I should behave in this kind of situation before, but this curse isn't something we can ignore. We've got no way of knowing when it might make me go berserk. I'm just trying to keep you all safe. How annoying. You know we can't keep you in line. You think we- oh my god. You think we can't keep you in line? Give us some credit. Your students brought you back to your senses at the workshop. There's no reason that wouldn't work a second time. Well, we didn't do that alone. I'm confident we'll be able to handle it. Yeah, we're already done it once, so it'll become easier to knock some sense into you the next time. Tough love can be fun, too, once in a while. Ah, youth. 
You have known this. You, you have to have known this is how everyone would respond. Reen, we're class seven. Don't you dare underestimate us. We've been through countless battles up till now. You know what we're capable of. Even when you and the Sword of the End fell into the darkest the abyss, we found a way to bring you back. That's not what it said, but that's how I went with it. That place is so much like the darkness Millie and I were born into. After facing it, I don't fear anything. I'll get the America ball ready to depart. I'm still getting used to how it handles, but it's better to have some backup. Plus, we've got it set up to take the Panzer Soldats too, not just Valimar. Awesome! That'll be a big help. Thank you, everyone. With you, I know I can... No. We're all going to push our way forward. Together. Right! There's the big boy scout we all know and love. Act 2. Guiding Starlight. Only like 30 hours in in the Gordian Act 2. It's gonna take a while. Now that everything's decided, we better make sure we're prepared. Sorry to drag you all into this. It's a little late for apologies. It's only natural for us to help out, since we owe you so much already. We know this place fairly well by now, so feel free to ask us anything. And there's always the fairy spring if you want some time to unwind. There she goes again. Alright, I'll take a look around. So many people helped to get me here, not just Elisa and the others. Maybe I should thank them in person. New clothing for Emma, her hat and glasses. Okay, so, uh... Lady's still level 91. Anyway, something to point out. Some of the cosmetic DLC. Of course, we have Rain's Casuals, it, which looks a lot like his old Class 7 uniform from days of old. He also has the swimsuit, and you can see the scar, and true Dark Prince Reen. And I'm pretty sure there's a mask to go with it. <laughs> okay, Phantom Thief Blue Blonde's mask. That surprisingly works a little too well, but yeah. True Sacrifice Ogre Mask, like the one you saw in the anime opening. Because... The fucking anime bullshit. Yeah, we're not gonna really wear that because, you know, kind of kills the flow. But I wouldn't mind keeping Reen's glasses on. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. Uh, of course, you know, he has the rainbow hair. Well then? Oh yeah, I wanted to look at Emma. Well then? Emma's hat. I love it. And Emma's glasses. Yeah, it's just not the same without her hat and glasses. Well then? What happened to her little hat? I wanna look more like a hairpin. I like that one. Whatever. For now I just got some run around to do. Oh, it's you guys. We finished our preparations. We can depart anytime. Well, there's new raiment of yours well. Wait, that new raiment of yours well becomes you, Reen. What? Thanks, Vita. I'll assume she's talking about the outfit. 
But seriously, thank you for sticking with me. You're welcome. I've always wanted to get a look at the workshop in person anyway. And I'm glad Thomas helped as oh my god. And I'm glad Thomas and the general agreed to help us. Don't go thinking you're off the hook. If you knew what we were doing, you would have contacted us. Could have contacted us, excuse me. Wait, didn't you get in touch right before everything went down? Oh, that? Let's just say it was a little insurance. And it came through at the best possible moment. What are we gonna do with you? You're just as flaky as ever. You haven't changed all that much the time I've known you. Well, how about that? It's hard to imagine Vita living here with all of you. Grianos and I lived here as well. Well, that takes me back. What has it been, Reen? What has it been? Ten years? This room hasn't changed at all. You could have gotten rid of my bed, you know. Oh no. We always knew you might come back someday. We didn't want you to drop in on us and have to know where to sleep. Well now, you must have been pretty desperate to see me again. Maybe if you called more often, we wouldn't have to worry about you so much. Tell her, Emma. And grandmother! You can stand to be honest about how you feel too. Well, Emma's something when she really something when she gets going. No wonder she was class president in your day. It's like she was born for that role. I can play cards with Rose. Cool. Why not? We have time for our game of cards. Uh, let's go with it. Of course she has the witch card. Let the game commence. Uh, these are actually all pretty good starting cards, but let's change that one. That's better. Let's take a look at you. Flame shot. Costs three mana. Deal four damage to the target. Oh, that's irritating. I think I would really like the witch card. Oh, 
I really don't think I'm going to be able to win this one. Like, yeah, I win, I lose right now. <laughs> Victory is mine! Yes, it is. Now you two. I kind of wish I had some more time. Being back here really takes me... Wait, being here again really takes me back. Anyway, I'll leave Crow to you guys. He should be able to tell you more about the rivalries, and the curse. He spent so much time with the gnomes, he probably knows more than I do. Vita. In other words, you're not gonna tell us anything. You were such a sweet child once, where did I go wrong? Alright, have it your way. We'll get the truth eventually. As for Crow, I promise we'll take care of him. Thank you, Reen. I knew we could count on you. And Selene. Seeing the two of you together is so touching. If only Grianos could be here, that would be nice. Wasn't he sliced apart right down to his soul? I admit it, that was unfortunate. But I'm gathering up the set gathered pieces of his power, so he should be able to return one day. If I can't do that, I'm not worthy of being called the Azure Abyss. Well, with your abilities, it might just be possible. How infuriating. It took me at least a century to master creating a familiar. I'm sure Vita only picked it up this fast because she had your knowledge and experience to draw on. How'd we get around to talking about something so weird? They are witches, after all. This is pretty normal for them. Hey, Celine, aren't you going to change into your human form? I was really looking forward to seeing it. Oh, you're right. I'm so used to you being a cat, I didn't even notice you changed back. What a waste, you look so cute. I already told you, it's not a form I like shifting into. Seems like she's not too keen on the idea. She has her reasons, no doubt. I guarantee she's seen the Rule 34 art on the internet and just doesn't want to be associated with it. But let's be real, there's definitely Rule 34 art of human form Celine, And I'm not going to look it up. I'll leave it to you guys to look it up. Jingo, Josette, and Elisa. I still want to know how you got here, Jingo. Oh, hey! If it ain't my favorite customer. Team Thors, what are you guys up to? Making your goodbye tour before you depart? More like a thank you tour. I've got a lot of people I need to show my gratitude towards. At least of all, not least of all, you, Joe said, you're a lifesaver. You put yourself in so much danger and just for my sake. Don't mention it, given what you've been through, it was the least I could do. No kidding about the danger, though. What with the military tightening its grip. Still, we decided that helping you was the only right thing to do. It's not like you forced us. I appreciate it either way. You and your brothers have been taking the Bobcat all over the place. Well, this problem isn't Erebonia's alone. We've been flying back and forth from Liberal to Calvert. Wow. If you find yourself running low on arms, you know who to call. Anti-air missiles, bunker busters, you name it, we've got it. I don't know how a child is an arms dealer. Hard pass. Machine guns and cannons do just fine. Where did a child get machine guns and cannons? <laughs> These are different now, Jingo. We're not sky bandits anymore, you know. 
I do remember us hearing a thing or two about that. So your armaments came from Nine Vial then. Yeah, things are looking to get a bit rough and tumble in the future. They're second hand, obviously, given our budget. I threw in some ammo. I think that think of it as a one time limited offer. That baby's full auto, so you really eat through it if you're not careful. I'll keep that in mind. You have got quite the connections, Jingo. She's done a lot for us, too. By the way, Jingo, what are your plans from here? I've heard you're planning on leaving Aaron. I'm guessing you're heading back to Crossbell? Nah. I plan to run my own gig. I got a package. I got a packed schedule myself. Big jobs to take care of. Gotta hitch me a ride with the Capuas that for that pathway at least. Big jobs, huh? Gotta say, I'm curious. Although ignorance may be bliss in this case. It's only natural someone in Jingo's trade would keep busy given the way the world's running. Well, either way, you've been a great help to us. I'm sure we'll see more of you again wherever you might turn up. Sure thing. I'll always, I'll make sure to have the good stuff ready for you. Good luck out there. This child is an arms dealer. Group over here. I have to thank you, Principal, well, I mean, General Leguin. I understand how much of a risk it must have been for you to help us. Oh, it was nothing. Now that you're feeling more up to it, how would you like to join me for a drink? They're absolutely exquisite. Not that I'd expect any less out of one of the Purple Lightning's recommendations. Uh, this one's flavored with sprigs of lavender. Ain't that something? It's got such a refined taste to it, and so it, it is so refreshing. You just won't, you just want to put it down. Of course, that means you might get tipsy. I'll pass. It's still early in the day, and I've got my students to think of. Laura, Fee. What are you drinking? Same thing as Sarah. Except mine's virgin, booze free. I'm also sticking with the non-alcoholic version. I may be old enough to drink now, but I see no reason to get inebriated in the morning. I've tried the non-alcoholic one before. Can't see I understand why it's such a hit in comparison. <laughs> well, we've built up quite the tolerance ourselves. It takes much more to cut loose sometimes. Lavender Ale, then. I kind of want to try one myself, but I don't think if I'd really like how it tastes. Drinks of that nature are commonly quite bitter. I don't see the point in them. Bitterness has its own charm, you know, like with tea. Personally, I don't have a problem with it. I guess the kiddies just don't understand classier tastes. Who asked you? You're in no position to lecture us on sophistication, Ash. It's like old times. It does sound like a pretty interesting drink, though. Maybe I'll come back and try it another time. Like, in the evening. Nice to see you, Randy. Agate. It's about time you showed up. Oh, I'm really digging this new look on you. You've upped your game since the last time I saw you. It's probably just the clothes. They were custom made, apparently. Oh, right. I guess we're going to be working with you two, huh? Let me make up for our lack of proper introductions. I am Ren Bright. I believe you know my father. You, I believe you and my father are protection practitioners of the same school. Really? So you're Lieutenant General Cassius, as in Lieutenant General Cassius Bright. I've never met him, but my master used to talk about him a lot. I'm Reen Schwarzer. It's a pleasure to meet you, Ren. And thanks for the help before. You're welcome. He doesn't seem frowzed at all. He's a lot calmer than I expected him to be. Something about him reminds me of Lowe, though I should probably keep my eye on him. Oh, and I believe this is the first time the two of us have met in person. I only caught a glimpse of you back in Crossbell. Adorable. Something about... Something seems a little different, though. Did you change your hairstyle since then? I sure did! I can hardly believe it's been already been three months since all that birdcage stuff. My name's Kia Bannings. 
Nice to finally meet with you in person, Reen. Good to have you with us, Kia. I'm really grateful for all the help you've given us thus far. It's no problem. You're the key to all our possible futures, Reen. So if there's anything else I can do for you, just don't hesitate to ask. Am I really that important? Trust her. Keto's got a sixth sense about this stuff. It must be some kind of holdover from when she was the Septarian. Yeah, because that's something you hear about every day. <laughs> At this point, I don't think we have any choice but to believe it. To be clear, does that mean Instructor Reen's return has cleared a path to saving the future? I can't see that far ahead. I just know we have a chance now. It all comes down to what you guys decide to do next. That will open a way forward. There's only one thing we can go to where Crow Armbrust is waiting. He pilots the Divine Knight, right? That's not all. He was once a member of Class 7. Guess things are starting to heat up. Yeah. This is where our story really begins. Randy, Agate, thank you for everything. Don't mention it. Come on. No need to be so formal. Alright. Whatever you say. Okay, and I, there's still things to talk to him about. One second. I don't care what the shopkeep says. So, will you two be going on the Bobcat too? Yep. I'm off to the Eastern Arabonia next, but Keto here is going to have them drop her off back in Crossbells when she's wrapped things up. Well, that's only if I can find some clue about where Tio might be. I wish there was something I could do to help with that. Don't stack so much into your plate, Uni. You got your own part in this to take care of. Let me help Tio Tot. You folks focus on finding Toa and the other students. See you later, Unit. I'll let you know the second we learn something. Say hi to Lloyd for me when you see when you get home, Kia. You got it. Maybe you two will even get a chance to meet up again sometime. That'd be nice. It's very trying to imagine Lloyd and Instructor Ring getting along. True, but I suppose they have no reason to fight now that all their motivating factors are resolved. And now Agate and Ren. Are you two planning to go back on the Bobcat? Yeah, I'll be searching Western Arabonia. Still haven't heard a word from Tita or Shash... Shashelzard? Uh, I'll be heading east to meet up with Estelle and the others. I'll see what I can find out from there. Let's all keep each other posted if we learn something new. Sounds good. I wonder where Tita is now. Hopefully she's with everyone else from the branch campus. Agreed. We still have yet to find a few of them. Not to mention Instructor Toa. At the very least, it will be I find it unlikely that the government would risk harming Tita. Even if she's been captured, they treat her well for the circumstances. You know the whole You know how to take in the whole picture, don't you, Duchess? It's nice to meet a different kind of genius for once. I'll keep an eye out for Tita too. Then maybe when this all blows over, we can have tea together. I have some delicious Eastern blends I've been saving. Plus, we could even play games. That sounds lovely. I get the feeling you'd make a fun opponent. Yeesh, I wouldn't want to get caught in the middle of these two going at it. Yeah, I'm glad they're on our side. Yeah, those two could probably play chess. Nice work. I want to know more about all sorts of things, like how to turn Loki into a full-fledged familiar like Selene. Wowie! How'd you get all that power up inside you? Uh, somebody ripped out my heart and put a, put a demons in there? I can sense it. A deep, black darkness. I've never felt like this before. Nice to meet you, too! What's up with this kid? She's a peculiar one, for sure. Her interest in the instructor seems to know no bounds. Though I suppose that this isn't particularly of note.
And there are people in here. Okay, I don't care. Let me shop. Hmm. Okay, good. More on the Imperial Chronicle. That is first. Whoa! Is this ignorant cults? They've got a the kin of Vergana too of Vergara Morgana too. All these books have been banned by the church. Pretty audacious to have them just sitting on a shelf. You say that, but you don't seem to be outraged at seeing them here. The owner's got a true scholar zest for forbidden texts. That being said, I don't believe these have any information in them that's truly dangerous. <laughs> you don't get a chance like this every day. Maybe I'll pick one or... Oh, that's expensive. I'm starting to wish I'd gone... I'd gotten Kevin to bring back everything else from the recluse cube. I guess I'll just have to save up every spare mirror I can until I can afford them all. And this guy works for the church? Up till up to now, he's only shown us his good and proper side, but... Hi, Thomas. The Second Dominion. He's a bit of an eccentric one. Ah, oh, hello everyone. You seem like you're ready to head off. We saw your eccentric side, Thomas. Why, hello there. I'm so glad to see you've recovered, Reen. Thanks, Rosine. It helped a lot that you came to assist us. And Instructor Thomas, thank you for helping us by using the partition. Not at all. It was only possible because you were all the ones inside it. In that respect, I do think it's really thanks to Gaius and the new Class 7. I'd say their strength was the largest factor, including the presence of the pens or soldats. Really, we didn't do that much. Our efforts had a minimal impact compared to everything else. Never underestimate what the power of love can do. Anyway, that ship, the Merkaba, it's a ship that belongs to the Grelsritter, right? That's right. It's given to the Dominions like Gaius and myself to help us in the course of the Grelsritter duties. In addition to the engine specs being a bit over the top, it even has state-of-the-art facilities and weapons included, which came in handy when dealing with gnomes. I only just inherited it from Backhorn, so I'm still getting used to it. That's the part of the reason I wanted Rosine to come. The backup she provided was essential. I'm just glad I could help. That's great. It's comforting knowing that we have you on our side. Instructor Thomas, will you be heading back to the... to your Merkaba? Yes. I'll be covering the eastern portion of the Empire, as well as working together with the Grosswitter headquarters. Out of the twelve we have, four of them are, were supposed to join us. But the 4th and 9th Dominions, among with their respective Merkabas, were called away to respond to other threats. I guess there are problems all over the continent, not just Erebonia. Seems to be the case. I'll try to get a hold of any more information. Right now, I'm just glad you're back with us. It's a load off my mind. You'd never really stop worrying about your students. Thanks, Instructor. Yeah, Thomas is, uh, a bit eccentric. Now... Issue 5. Mounting tensions at the border, the situation in airspace above eastern Kevardian border in the Kreutzen became extremely tense around noon, August 14th. The Imperial forces numbered about a dozen with 250 large blue battleships. The Calvardians have had about the same number of gunships and a 200 arch yellow battleship. Both sides prepared their cannons to fire in locked eyes and a standoff for a short while. The Imperial Army reports that the ship used to keep Calvard's 2nd Area Division, Beaten Kaitos class flagship, was in check. In check was the 3rd Air Fleet's Gargantua battleship, the newest model that debuted at the recent military parade. So they're in a cold war. They're in a state of cold war right now. 
Although Libero is renowned for its orbital airships, it is outmatched by Calvert in the realm of military vessels. The gunships and airships seen in the latest clash were cutting-edge models built by the Verne Company. However, Erebonia's relentless pursuit of new technology has resulted in notable feats of engineering, including the Lustina passenger ship, the Pantagruel, and most recently, the entire Pantagruel class. The largest ships in history will maintain superiority through efforts of our excellent researchers and the bravery of our nation, an Imperial Army dignitary told us. Special Feature Opinions it has been two weeks since conscriptions and supply requisitions began. How do citizens feel about it? We're getting a flood of orders for ins for instrument turning from military bands. It's not easy to keep up with the demand, as many craftsmen are conscripted too. The market is a ghost town lately. Trade's the lifeblood of this town. Without it, I don't see much of a future for us. Miss Margot from Keldic. The town's empty except for miners. Those we're getting more of, so the canteen's a madhouse. It's hard to keep kitchens stocked, though I guess we'll just have to get by with the rations we get. We have. A rumor. These are just a few of the insights we gleaned from our many interviews of the Empire's hardworking citizens. Ladies Who Labor, Episode 2. Thanks to the warm reception, readers were back with another episode of the new column. This time, our Lady of Spotlight is Celine, who works as the nurse at St. Ursula's Hospital in Crossbell. She's endeared herself to just about everyone, from long-term live-ins to walk-in patients. Even some profess to regard her as a bona fide saint. A large portion of our staff has been sent to Aromica and we're working hard to continue providing the same excellent standard to come here. We are very lucky that Dr. Siland and from Rimmerferia is here to assist us, said Celine. Cecile, excuse me, in her character charismatically gentle manner, the look in her eyes reflecting her inner strength. Notice of a missing person. We received a request from someone searching for a missing person. Please contact the editor if you happen to know so I'm matching this description. A young man named Cody of age 18 has blonde hair and a Rimmerfarian passport. Why does that sound familiar? Why does that sound familiar? It's like you three three had a pretty good soak. Yep, couldn't pass the opportunity. No kidding. I feel like a new man. I should hope so. You take to hot springs like a sovereign old... Like a... Sovereignly old fogey aching all over. And what's wrong with that? Some of us have day jobs running us ragged, you know. You guys. To be fair, it's hard not to let yourself go once you settle in. You're telling me. Well, anyway, not to get all prim and proper on you guys, but I just wanted to extend my thanks. Come now, Reen. You know we couldn't do a thing without you. Just relax yourself, okay? My, it'll come sweet how well you get all along. There, are truly something pre there is truly something precious about it. This is awesome. Divine Knights, Soldats, even a ship from the church. You see this, Nina? The outside world's chock full of things like this. They really are amazing. Wait, what the heck is he bragging for? <laughs> Speaking of which... Albiro couldn't put a cork in it, so I came along to scope things out too. These really are amazing, though. I could have never imagined seeing... One thing so impressive, let alone so many at once. I know I said it before, but I'm glad you made it back safely, Reen. Drop by and stay with us anytime you need. No reservation needed. Thanks, Nina. Valimar and Milliam II. Back then, it was as if there thoughts flooded into my mind along with the voices of my friends. 
They said they'd pledge their aid to me, or at least I think they did. Instructor? I have to do better for Balamar and Milliam both. Actually, it's not quite right. I made up my mind to set my eyes on the future no matter what. No matter how much I stumble and fall, I'll get, I'll make it past any challenge. And I'll have both of you at my side. Back to the clearing? What? What did I miss at the clearing? Oh, the bobcat. Well... I'm gonna end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Trails of Cold Steel 4 as we head out to Brionia Island. But until then, I'm the Dark Seraph. Signing off.